You blowing bubbles? Good job. It got you in the face? Yeah, don't spill it. Okay. Careful. Oh, come here. You'll show me what? Just stuck. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah, just stuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just stuck. So hot. Is it soapy? No, it's soapy. Wash, wash. Where are you going? No, get your bubbles. Bubbles. That's not my fly. All right, one more. One more. To my toy. To my Big bubble. Big bubble. Big bubble. Hey, Cora. I love you, sugar. I love sugar. <laughs> Starting this vlog, uh, probably, I don't know, I was 18 weeks, I think, on the last vlog, so probably a whole 20, 20, 20, ooh, four weeks, four weeks later, I started another vlog. Here you go, baby. Um, it is officially quarantine time in Las Vegas because of the coronavirus, and I figured I should just pick up the camera, let everybody know how I'm doing, what's going on. Chris is not here because he is considered an essential worker as a part of the manufacturing industry. He works in construction as a rebar manufacturer, so he is still working, thank God, because we are still receiving paychecks, so it's not affected us too badly, although his hours have gone down slightly. He hasn't had as much overtime. Whew, I lose my breath very, very, very easily right now. So me and Cora are just hanging out at the house, and we actually just had... Chris off of work for the last three days. It's Wednesday. No, today's Thursday. He was off the past three days because we were originally supposed to actually be going on a beach vacation slash, slash Disneyland vacation, but the coronavirus and everything going on right now completely shut all that down, but he still took the days off and we just kind of relaxed as a family together for those three days and we are missing him terribly today because I got used to having him five days in a row and it was pretty amazing. Orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? Peace. And? What about thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Bye. Oh, man. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that word, baby. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys picked up that word. Just say why. Yeah, you don't say that word. <gasps> I am working on the vlog from four weeks ago because <laughs> I'm notorious for not editing at all. But, hey, at least I'm trying. So, typically, during the day, we would go to a park or visit some friends or visit my mom. And unfortunately, because it is lockdown and to be smart social distancing, we are not visiting anybody at the moment or seeing my mom because my mom is actually pretty high risk for the coronavirus. She's immunosuppressed, she has lung issues already. So we're just trying to make sure that she, especially her, does not get sick. And then me being pregnant, I. I'm trying not to get sick too. So we've been having a lot of outside time. That was my very squeaky door. Baby, do you want to play outside for a minute? Yeah. Come on, let's play outside. Put your tablet down, turn it off. Go turn it off. My baby bubbles. Yeah, we can play with the bubbles. So what I will typically do is let her 
Yes, I'm getting the bubbles. Oh my goodness. She's so excited. She loves bubbles. I love bubbles. Yeah. So we have her chalk out here, some other stuff out here, like her little rocking horse, her car, and then, of course, bubbles. I bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. Bubble, bubbles. The clip yesterday, she was playing with bubbles out here with Chris. So that's what we do. We just I hang out. Chris. Chris is at work. Chris is daddy. Is Chris daddy? Yeah, he's at work. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. It's a big bubble. That's a big bubble. You gotta dip it again. Dip it really far, all the way down. Push it all the way down in there. There you go. Now pick it up. Now blow. <laughs> Good job. Spelling there, C R double L. Is that what you just said? Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Mom, there's a stuff. Oh, it's stuck here. Let me get it for you. This me... stuff gets the bubbles. Now get it. This stuff gets the bubbles. The bubbles are stuck. There's the bubbles stuck. Yeah, the wand is stuck in the bubbles, huh? Can Mama get it? Uh -oh. It's like really stuck in there, honey. <laughs> Yeah, the water tap. Yeah, hold on. Let me put this down. <laughs> I toes? My toes? <laughs> Leave my toes alone. What's this? My pinky toe. It's a big toe? My <laughs> Here. Here, look at it. I got it. Can I got blow? it. Okay, try blue. Try again. It's a big bubble. It's a big bubble. Here you go. It. You touched it? Yeah. Good job. I touched the bubble. You touched the bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Wee ha. Wee ha. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Go forward a little bit, baby. Push it forward. Oh. You gotta stand up. And now push it a little bit forward. Okay. There you go. Okay, now try again. Try again. It's loud. It's loud. Oh. Okay. Yeehaw. <laughs> no? Am I not supposed to say that? No, say it. Okay. <laughs> so the only thing that we have left the house for is to pick Chris up from work and then leaving to go to the grocery store and get stuff for the house, like essential stuff and trying to find toilet paper, which I've not been lucky with, and we still have like five rolls left, so should be good for a couple more days. But that's the only thing that we've left the house for, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just waiting for Chris to get out of work. He should be coming back from that way any moment now. Um, I forgot that there was another new thing that had happened in the last year since we've been not vlogging, is that we ended up getting a new car in October last year, so October 2019. I was in a car accident with Cora, unfortunately she was in the car with me. It was not a super serious car accident, it was serious enough to total my last car which forced us to have to look into purchasing a new car a lot sooner than we had originally anticipated because we didn't want to get a new car until we were more financially able to. I mean, it's a bigger bill that we anticipated and it has put us more in a tighter financial spot but it was something that needed to happen so it did that is another new thing that happened and Cora is just hanging out back there eating her apple and then she's watching her tablet Toy Story and hopefully Chris should be here any minute so we can go back home look behind you look over there <laughs> is that daddy you missed him huh Aww. kisses Oh, yeah. mm, yeah. uh, did you miss him? Yeah, I'm oh, okay, he needs to take a shower. <laughs> That's what he said. She, she said, she said yeah. <laughs> we are home now. I just put on Princess and the Frog for Cora. And she's eating a popsicle. Is that your popsicle? Yeah. Is it so good? Well, the princess. The princess and the frog? Yeah. I yeah. Oh yeah, that is Mickey Mouse up there, huh? 
Chris hopped into the shower. He takes a shower immediately after we get home um, because he works with like metal shavings so it gets all over his body and his clothes so he automatically gets in the shower like as soon as he gets home because he literally will touch anything and it gets dirty. <laughs> We're just gonna be relaxing for the rest of the night. Probably watch this movie with Cora. It's already seven o'clock and we kind of go to bed early now. It's actually kind of sad how early, like I literally look forward to bedtime. I'm like, oh yes, bedtime is only like 45 minutes an hour away. We go to bed between like 7.30 and nine o'clock. Just depends. If it's been a really long day for Chris at work, we'll likely go to bed at 7.30. And I just, I always follow suit because I don't like staying up by myself. It's boring to just watch TV at night by myself. I'd rather watch it with Chris. So I usually go to bed with them. And plus, Cora wakes up early anyway, so I need my sleep. Okay, so I turned on the camera because I have not, I never even, I never really documented it even with Cora's pregnancy. Just how crappy I feel sometimes. Like, this is every morning. I wake up and I, it's like, it's like a bottomless pit feeling in your stomach but it's so much worse than any pain I've ever felt in my life. And it makes you, the only thing that satisfies it is if you eat something. And for me, what I've been doing is just, I have like a protein shake or like those slim fast drinks or chocolate milk or Ovaltine, something that I can just quickly chug and get rid of that pain in my stomach. But sometimes I, I wait too long and it causes me to throw up stomach acid. Yeah, baby, I'm making it okay. It's cooling down, my love. It's cooling down, okay? When it's ready, I'll give it to you, I promise. No, blow it. Please, hey, can you please go sit down, be a good girl? No, I'm on the ground. I'm taking care of a two-year-old with a sassy pants attitude. This is very difficult. I made her some oatmeal and it's cooling down on the counter, but she wants it like right this second. <sighs> I literally cannot wait until July. I can't wait. I, me and Chris decided also we're not going to have any more kids after this as far as biologically out of my body. I just, I I can't handle feeling this sick every single day and not being able to just be my normal self and I'm not even gonna, I don't want to get into it because I'll start crying because I'm hormonal and emotional too, but it's just, it's the crappiest feeling to just not feel yourself and not be able to fix it. Um, <laughs> you want to eat your oatmeal? Yeah. Okay, I get it. If you go sit down and be a good girl, I'll get it for you in two minutes. I, um, oh, I don't remember what I was saying. Um, I just can't do it anymore. I can't do this ever again. And I don't anticipate wanting. Oh, God. I don't anticipate wanting any more kids because I'm just, I can't. I cannot, any woman that gets pregnant and has easy pregnancies, like, you guys are so lucky. You're so lucky. You're so blessed to, like, wake up and just be thankful to be pregnant versus waking up like, oh, God, I'm pregnant. I just don't want to be pregnant. It's the worst feeling. It's the worst feeling. And I wanted it for so long, for so many years. To get pregnant, to have a miscarriage, to get pregnant right after that, have Cora, and then be pregnant again now without medications, without really trying. I mean, it's all super, 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 super 
exciting and I'm thankful and so blessed that it happened for us that way. But I know that I'm done. My body is not meant to be pregnant. I don't, I've, I've convinced my brain of that, that the reason why it was so hard for me to get pregnant was because my body was never meant to be pregnant. And that is, that's honestly how I feel. Oh, I finally am having some relief of that pain. So I'm gonna eat now and give Cora her oatmeal and me my oatmeal. <laughs>